Hello, welcome to Northern Medina County Chamber uh, Alliance Buzz on Business. Today we have Dr. Sam Papandreas with us. Did I? Papandreas or Papandreas. Papandreas, okay. <laughs> well, folks, you have two ways to, exactly. to uh, introduce yourself to Dr. Sam. Welcome to Thank you. Buzz on Business. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I'm from Northeast Ohio, born, raised, um, did all my schooling out of state. I'm actually an engineer who then went to dentistry and saw the combination of, of dentistry and engineering was orthodontics and there you go. Um, I started my career here in Brunswick and remain today and that was going on two plus decades ago. Wow. Got a family of uh, three wonderful kids including my wife. Um, one is a, a junior in high school, two have finished and are in graduate school at, uh, in Philadelphia, and the one is actually in dental school. So uh, I was gonna ask. The replacements your, are coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, so, yeah. That's good. Now, um, I think that is very unique when you, you said looking at engineering and yeah. dentistry. Yes. Uh, going into orthodontics because of the um, I guess the the fraction the fractions the closeness that you have to get everything yeah. to have it aligned properly. Now, can anybody, what as an orthodontist, be labeled to do that? Are, are there some special uh, yeah. schools? Well, you know, um, engineering and dentistry is a unique com combination, and obviously in orthodontics, it's all forces, materials, vectors, material science. So there's a very intimate relationship between the two. Um, I always say that we're engineering spectacular smiles as our tagline because it ties into what I do. Um, hopefully I've set a good template because my daughter did the same thing. She was engineering at Penn State and now she's in dental school. Um, but yeah, you, you, you know, it's a four-year undergraduate degree and now you pursue um, a four-year degree in dentistry and then you go on for a three-year degree in orthodontics as a specialist. Um, that's beyond your, your dental training. So, you know, we look at things um, um, much more intimately. We have a bigger picture of the bite, and how it relates to the face, to the muscles, the entire structure. Um, so it's a, it's a very um, specialized area of dentistry. Excellent. Now, um, I read somewhere that you can be an, an, orth, uh, an orthodontic uh, dentist, but you aren't certified or you can be certified. Yeah. Can you clarify that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you, your dentist's area of expertise most definitely is you know, the, the overall health of the orofacial structure. You know, but in there is the movement of the teeth, the adjustment of the jaw structure, uh, management of, of the muscles, how it all fits together. Um, and yes, anybody can do orthodontics, but obviously I believe that you know, you know, uh, if you're going to um, be a jack of all trades, you're a specialist in none, it becomes difficult for them to, to do that. And so they will work in conjunction with me. It becomes a team effort where they're managing all the other areas. We take care of the orthodontics um, to you know, achieve the best results in the shortest period of time and in a safe fashion. So yeah, you know, if you are a specialist in orthodontics, you can use that term. If you're certified, my certification comes from Baylor University in Dallas, Texas. So that's uh, really that certification, you can kind of be leading the team for the dental health care. Correct, care. correct. And patients don't always you know, realize that. You know, we help educate them, and so does their, their dentist saying, hey, here's the referral. Go out and get to see your orthodontist. Um, you don't need a referral to get to your orthodontist and, and explore, um, but almost always we're working hand in hand with the dentist. Well, uh, and I, I, I may be typical of most people. My youngest son needed braces, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until our dentist referred us to look at to to look for yeah. someone. What would your recommendation be to to folks watching the show? What should they do uh, to to be prepared? I'll say preventative. Yeah. More than anything. Well, first I'll start by saying again, you know reach out to your local specialist. You don't need a referral to do that. Um, be motivated to take responsibility for your care. You know, seek out the best uh, doctor that fits you know, what, what you're trying to do. Um, we always recommend, at least for the kids, they come to see us at you know, no later than age seven, because now enough teeth are in, we can begin to forecast the future. It's very rare we do any treatments at age seven. Uh, let's us begin 
um, building a relationship with the child so it's finally ready when they're finally ready for treatment, you know, they, they're like, oh, I'm comfortable with Dr. Pandas. Yeah, yeah, you know? oh, yeah. Yep. or he's so, Yeah, exactly, but we will monitor growth and development. We'll make little tweaks along the way, so when it finally comes time for treatment, and the majority of the kids we do in that 12, 13 range in a single step, all of a sudden the treatment's much shorter, much easier, much safer, better result, and ultimately it's a lower cost. Uh, that, that's great. Now, um, when you, you look at uh, Brunswick community, your time here. Um, I love I love your tagline that engineering yeah. a, a better smile. Yeah. Uh, what would you want people of the Brunswick area to know about you and your business in order for them to be better educated? Well, first and foremost, a lot of people I, I think of traditional orthodontics, which typically was two years. Um, a lot of times it was the, the metal braces. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times it was extractions. Um, it really was a challenge, and I've been there and I've done that. That was my my training way back in the beginning. But things have changed so much in this in this digital world. Um, a lot of what we do now is clear aligner therapy. There's still traditional braces. We do both, but there's situations where. Clear line of therapy, Invisalign is, is, the, is the one everyone knows, but there's so many companies out there now. Um, and really, they're just a lab for us. They provide the plastic, they do nothing else. We, we direct everything in-house. Um, but many times, clear aligners are the right choice, absolutely. Many times, braces are the right choice, absolutely. In between is a blend, but it's gotten so much simpler, less discomfort, shorter treatment times, the costs is really um, compared to what they were even 20 years ago is a, a better value because of all the efficiencies that are in play today. And I, you know, I already said, you know, there's no charge for that evaluation. So explore the possibilities, you know, uh, come in and, and see what we can do. No, I, I love that because we do so many things for automobiles, yeah. uh, but we don't take care of ourselves. Absolutely. So I encourage everybody to reach out and to go and get that evaluation and see what the possibilities so you can have an engineered beautiful smile. Dr. Papandaris, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. We'll be right back. What if you could feel in control of your retirement in just a few clicks? At aceyourretirement.org, you can. Start with a free three minute chat with Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. Just answer some simple questions like, how do you feel about your ability to save for retirement? Or in how many years do you want to retire? To get free action items customized just for you, get your retirement back on track at aceyourretirement.org.